I can't begin to tell you how frustrating it can be to capture a photo of a beautiful landscape only to find I've also captured a passerby or there's a sign in the middle of the photo. You could open Photoshop on your Mac to fix the image, but there are quicker ways. In this video tutorial, I'll help you remove unwanted objects in your photos using Apple's Intelligence Cleanup feature or a free third-party app. If we haven't met, I'm Ellen from Ellen's Tips for iOS, where I help seniors master their iPhones and iPads. If you find the video helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Let's get started. Apple has added a cleanup tool in the Photos app with iOS 18 and iPadOS 18. This new feature uses AI to identify objects that you might want to remove. You simply highlight the items and remove them. There is a catch. The cleanup tool is only available on the iPhone 15 Pro, 15 Pro Max, and any newer iPhones, and any iPad or Mac using the Apple Silicon chip, meaning the M1, M2, M3, and M4. You'll also need to make sure you've enabled Apple Intelligence on your device. And to do this, you'll want to go to Settings, you'll go to Apple Intelligence and Siri, and then you're just going to make sure that you have the toggle switch for Apple Intelligence turned on now. If you don't have the newest iPhone or iPad, you can still take advantage of a third-party app to remove unwanted objects from your photos, so stick around. So let's take a look at how the cleanup tool works on an iPhone 15 Pro, which is what I'm using. So I've opened a photo in the Photos app, and you'll want to tap on the edit icon that's down here uh, in the toolbar on the right. So I'll tap on that to open it. And then you're going to tap on the cleanup tool. If you're using this feature for the first time, your iPhone or iPad will download the necessary files. This is a one-time process. So I'll tap on cleanup. And then what I'm going to want to do is you can see that Apple Intelligence highlights an area that it thinks I might want to remove. So I'm just going to take, take my finger and just kind of swipe it around that area. And it should remove the object. And there it is. The object has been removed. And when you're finished, you'll go ahead and you'll tap on Done. Once I've tapped on Done, if I swipe up on the photo to bring up the information area and keep swiping, you'll see at the bottom of the information area, it says Modified with Cleanup. So I'm back into the same photo because I want to show you that you can revert this photo back to the original if you choose to. So to do that, I opened the photo. Uh, the package was over here. I'm going to tap on the editing option bottom right. I'm going to tap on uh, revert in the upper right corner. A little pop-up comes up and I can tap on revert to original and that package will come back. One of the things that you can do is if you're having trouble removing an object or say the object has a shadow, you can zoom in. So let's go to that cleanup tool again. I'm going to open up the editing area and tap cleanup. You can zoom in so it picks up that, that image, but you can zoom in if you need to, to uh, press on that image and just make some circles on it so that it picks up the whole image. And once it does, it recognizes and it'll be removed. If you see shadows, in the photo, you can swipe on them as well. So I'm just going to swipe on this area right here and let it go. If it's still there, you can do it again until you get it removed. 
but it looks like that particular one is not going to be removed. Not really sure why, but it'll do the best it can. If this area of darkness right in here is a shadow from the package, if I swipe on that, it should remove that shadow. And it does a little bit. You can see the grass a little bit clearer. So you can zoom in to really get a close-up view of any object that you want to remove. And then when you're finished, go ahead and tap on Done. Once it's finished, you'll see that the uh, image is there. Let me move my little uh, mouse cursor out of the way. So the image has been removed. And now we've used the Cleanup tool to revert back to the original and then we've used the cleanup tool to remove an object from the photo. For those of you who don't have the newest iPhone or iPad with an M chip, there are third-party apps that allow you to uh, remove objects and blemishes. Touch Retouch is a third-party app that you can download from the App Store and it'll let you remove objects, cover blemishes, and get rid of lines in your photos, allowing you to edit your photos with a few simple taps. To remove unwanted objects uh, using the Retouch app or Touch Retouch, you'll go ahead and open the app. And if you're opening it for the first time, it's going to ask you to give it access to your photos. So I'm going to go ahead and tap on Open Settings. It'll take me to the uh, Retouch area of Settings. And where it says Photos, right now it has no access to my photos. I'll tap on that. And I can choose to give it limited access. For right now, I'm going to go ahead and give it full access to my photos. And I'll say Allow Full Access. And now when I come back, to the Touch Retouch app. If I tap on it in the upper left corner, I should have access to all of my photos. So now I've opened a photo inside the app that I want to remove an object from. I'm going to tap on the Objects tool in the bottom left corner. And now I can use auto if I want, but I am going to use I am going to use my finger, so I'm going to select the brush tool here. And then I'm going to use my finger to brush over the object. So I'm going to use the uh, garbage can and I'm just going to brush over it. And as you can see, it's still not removed, so I'll brush over it again. And now you'll see that the garbage can and part of the image behind it that was in the photo has also been removed. And then when I'm finished, I can go ahead and just tap on the back button or I can ex export this photo. But here's a catch. This is a subscription um, app but it allows you to export one image a day. So I can export an image by tapping up here in the upper right hand corner with the up arrow. And when I do that, it'll tell me where, you know, where do you want to save this to? I can save it as a copy so that the original photo will remain. I can open it in something else. I can modify the original. Uh, for right now, I'm not going to do anything because I don't want to lose that one copy. So, but you could save it as a copy and it'll add that photo to wherever you want to, probably in your files app, maybe in a folder that says edited photos or object remove on the folder. But this is a very simple tool to remove objects. And I'm going to go ahead and tap on the uh, X in the upper right corner. And you can see it really does a great job. If I wanted to, I could zoom in and I could remove uh, some of the people over here or along this edge. And it'll take all of that out. 
So this third-party app is very powerful so that you can remove objects from your photos if you don't have the newest iPhone or iPad. Once you've finished uh, your photo and you've exported it or whatever you want to do with it, if you realize that you have uh, erased too much, if you notice there's an undo and redo button at the top, so if I click on the undo, um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave that on. There we go. It'll start to bring the images that we erased back. I can bring it all the way back to the beginning. I can hit the redo button to take them away again. So you, you have the option to select as much of an object as you want to um, and, you know, Bring it back if necessary, if the photo doesn't look right. I also, uh, if I tap on this little back button in the bottom, so we're going to come back to the area that we choose what we want to use, you have the option to remove lines, meshes. You can use a clone stamp. Uh, there's backgrounds that you can add. You can blur parts of your photo if you want to. So this third-party app probably does a lot more than uh, the cleanup tool, which is very basic right now on your iPhone or iPad. So you might want to use both. But again, I'll caution you that because this is a third-party app, they want you to pay for a subscription. If you're willing to just export one photo a day, so you, you find a photo that you want to edit and do that, you can do one photo a day without any problems. Removing unwanted objects from your photos has never been easier thanks to new tools in Apple Photos and apps like Touch Retouch. If you have an iPhone 15 Pro or newer device, you can use the built-in cleanup tool to quickly erase distractions from your pictures. If your device doesn't support it, don't worry. You can still use a free third-party app like Touch Retouch to get the job done. Both methods are simple and give you control to make your photos look just the way you want. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.